Hi everybody, it's Andrea, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday the 12th of September, it's the start of a new week, it's a new weekly vlog. So last week's weekly vlog was very short, as you know everything that happened like really really sent me a bit weird. Um, but we're back now and we'll see how it goes this week. Next week I'm on annual leave all week, Monday's been declared bank holiday for the Queen's funeral but I've got the whole week off so. and. Today is Jennifer's first full day in school. She doesn't finish until 10 past three. So um, when I finish at quarter to one, I will go and get something to eat very quickly. And then I'm going to start, well, I'm gonna be filming today. I'm gonna to be filming some YouTube videos for my channel. So it'll be a few flip throughs. I've got four flip throughs to do. I'm gonna do a current chat. And if I got time, I'm gonna start doing a first impressions and some swatching. Um, and then tomorrow, I'll be doing eBay, so you'll be seeing that as well. So anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, I finished work. Hard work. Not busy, but steady today. Um, and I'm gonna have some lunch, which I have got here. And then I am going to do some filming. Like I said, I'll show you what I'm doing when I do it, because it will be up by the time uh, I uh, put this one up, so yeah. So I'm going to eat my lunch, do some filming, and then pick up Jen and see what she feels like doing this afternoon. I'm knackered, so hopefully she might just want to colour. So, fingers crossed, eh? Okay, I'm just getting ready to do me um, filming. I need to charge this camera up later. Do it overnight. I'm going to do this one. From Relax With Our Issue. It's creepy as anything. 96. I've got 97. I've got to flip through that light later. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on with this now. And I'll see you afterwards and we'll see what happens. Hello! It is Monday evening and I finished reading this book, The House on the Cerulean Sea by TJ Clune and oh my god it was beautiful. Oh it was so beautiful. I really loved it. It'll stay with me for a while I think this one. I think it was just a beautiful story. I, I really loved it. What, uh, Mommy, what darling? I put it back on because it just went off. What do you mean it just went off? It went off. Anyway, yeah, so I finished reading that. And I know I haven't vlogged today, but you know. And now I'm going to read this one, Treasurer Island. I haven't read that for years. I will admit I did 25 minutes with a hula hoop thing, the smart hoop, and oh my god, it was hard work, sweated, and oh, it was great. Can't wait to do some more tomorrow. So. Yes, so I am going to read for a bit longer and I will see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It is now Tuesday, 13th of September. And what's going on today? Well, Jennifer's in school. She didn't want to go. She had a real crying fit. Well, as long as she didn't want to go, she wanted to go, but she didn't want to wear a dress. The problem is, the trousers have got catches and she can't do them up or undo them. So if she needs to lose, she's stuck. So, no. She'll be alright now she's there. Uh, work, just getting set up. Um, I read a good portion of Treasure Island last night. It won't take me long to read that because it's only 190 pages long. It's not a huge book, it is a book that was written for boys. But I'm enjoying it, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. So After that I'm going to read Hudson Taylor's Gentleman for Murder, The Mario Mario Mysteries. And after that, I'm going to go on to potentially Peter May. However, on Thursday of this week, I will be receiving book three in the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. So that might have to get a good read first before I move too far on. So I've got my reading plans. Um, I'm trying to read many of the books I bought this year, so I'm not adding too much to the big TBR up there at the end of the year because I need to clear that space up there. Can you see where are they there? You see that at the end to put my diaries on so I can free up this bottom shelf of my colouring book collection sh uh, bookcase because I run out of space for colouring books now, literally have run out of space, so I need to move those. Um, today I will be working on eBay and I'll show you what I'm working on when I do it when I finish work. That will be all mostly cameras today to get rid of one of these big ikea bags off the bedroom floor there's two bags of cameras here so i will get one lot they've been sorted of ones i've checked and are ready to be listed and photographed and one that's not so i will crack on and do that after i've had some lunch and then hopefully i'll be able to shovel some stuff around a bit sort out the next lot of cameras 
ready for Thursday, uh, for, yeah, for Thursday's um, eBay day. And I might be able to get up there and move some books around. There's some rubbish down here that's got to go, so I might sort that out as well. I want to get these rooms sorted and tidy so I can get these TVs mounted on the wall. So I want this shelf the TV's on completely freed up so I can put things that I'm using on there like my markers and pencils. Um, yeah, so it be easier for me if I can. So that's the plan. So I'm going to crack on with that. I'll see you when I finish work. Hey guys, I finished work and now I'm going to start doing some eBay. I have had some lunch. Got my light set up. Got my light tent out. i just got to set it up. I was just thinking headache all day. I finished work a little bit earlier. I've had a rest, but I'm, I'm only going to do a few photos. I'm not going to do much. I'm going to do this one for a start. It cost me three quid. I might get about 80 for it if I'm lucky. And I don't know it works. I've tested it with film. And then I'll show you the other ones I'm going to do as well. And if I can find a, a case for it, up. I will put it in. Take a painkiller for my head, and I think it's slowly clearing, which is great. So I'm not going to do as much as I was hoping to, but I've got a lot of uh, admin work to do as well, so I'll do that later when I get back from picking up Jen. I was going to take her down to Grandad's, but of course Grandad's not going to be there because he's off doing his escorting job with the special needs children which with the taxi firm, which he does volunteers for, which is really nice, and he enjoys it and gets him out and about, so... And I've got a load of washing to do, as usual. I've always got washing to do. Oh, I've got all blurry. You know what I mean? Women are <laughs> I'll see you very, very shortly. I'll be showing you what I'm listing. So this one first is a Olympus Mew Zoom. Mew 2 is the best, but this is still a good camera. It's really nice. I'm sort of loath to get rid of it, but, you know, money. I need money. Okay, so, so far I've photographed these three. So the Olympus, and then I've got a 8mm uh, here. Hannah makes one. I know I put batteries in it and I've tried it, so I know it works. And this is an Adox film camera. But again, it works, so I know it's fine. I do like to film test them when I can. This one has been film tested, works perfectly. I love it. I'm a bit gutted to sell that one, but I bought it to sell, so. Oh, I'm so with it you know but I need to I need to get my eBay up and running I've got some lenses over there that I know I've tested now I can't remember which ones they are so I'll do that again later check which lenses go with which cameras and then I can sell them accordingly um, as long as I know which ones they are so I might have a look at them in a minute I've got one more camera to have a look at okay guys time is now getting on it is quarter past two I have managed to put graphical items um, but I've emptied two bags. I've put some of the cameras here, as you can see. Mostly that's lenses and cameras. And the reason being is some of those need cleaning. Some of them I need to actually fiddle with. And uh, two of them I've already got versions listed. I don't want to put up any more. So there's a couple there that could potentially be going on there. I just need to figure out how they work. Some of these lenses I have figured out. Like, for instance, I know that this one here, this is an Olympus one because it actually tells me. Those ones I have managed to fit to cameras, but now I can't remember which ones, so I'm going to redo those before I list them. And these ones up here I haven't, so that's where they're up there. So, what's next? I'm going to take the four items and some odd bits of jewellery I've got that should be in a bag to go be made, weighed out, photographed and sold as a job lot. There are three sets of playing cards in there for Guinness, and I'm just, I'm just going to lob them together. And then I've got some rubbish, but if I put that one bag in the other one, it will clear a bit of space off of the floor, which is great. It's a start on getting this room tidied up and sorted because it's a right state. And most of it is because I've got eBay stuff in it. I do have a camera case here. Oops. There's a piece of necklace on there as well. Hang on, I can go back. <sighs> See what I mean? I can go in there. Right, and, and I've got some of these as well, which are camera cases, lens cases. That one's a Miranda one, and there is a Miranda lens up there. So I've got this too. I'll put that there, and if I can find the one that fits it, and I can figure out what uh lens fitting it is i will put it on there but i have no idea as you can see there are books everywhere because i read but i'm going to take this lot upstairs up to the thing yeah as i say there's a camera bag here 
Jessup's, tiny Jessup's camera has got some flashes in it now. I don't know if these work or not. I need to get, oh, there's some more lens things in here. Hang on. So I've also got a lot of these lens covers. That's a Canon one by the look of it, because there's Canon on it. And I've got a Cobra and a Ricoh um, flash. I need to put batteries in them to check. Camera bag is okay. It's only a teeny one. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I might actually photograph that and, and list it as well. It's got some pad. Yeah, I'm going to photograph that because it's not bad condition actually. And that'll be five. Ah, oh, dear me. It is hard work. It's, it clothes are a lot easier because you just measure them and, and stuff. But I'm not doing them at the moment. I might actually do clothes on Thursday just so that it's a bit different. Break it up a bit. Anyway, I'm going to take this out of the shed. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I've done my workout. Oh, God, I'm hot. My hair is soaking. It's literally been running down the back of my neck. I'm going to have a shower in a bit. Um, I'm stroking the cat. But, yeah, I did 30 minutes today, so I'm getting better, and I'm loving it. It's fun. Um, I'm obviously getting slightly fitter because I'm not getting as out of breath. So that's something. I'm going to uh, go off and find Jen now and read my book. Back to Treasure Island. Good morning. It is Wednesday the 14th of November and as you see I'm in my library getting ready to work, get my computer set up so today I'll be filming after I finish work so we'll be doing another colouring chat and is there anything else? Yes, I might start um, doing a swatch of the macaroon pencils, root through the pastels for a first impression so we can see what they're like That'd be nice. But yeah, so I'm going to get myself set up. I've got 12 minutes before I have to start, so plenty of time. So I'm going to put the TV on and find something to watch in the background, do some, some financing, text my mechanic, and I'll see you later. Hey, everybody. I haven't vlogged today. I've been terrible today. I'll admit that. Um, but I'm okay. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, it's Thursday, the 15th of September. And today is the day in 1954 that they filmed a skirt scene from The Seven Year Itch. If you ever wanted to know that. Um, on Lexington and 52nd, I think it was. Uh, yeah, anyway, I have finished Treasure Island, I think I said that. And I am reading this now, The Marilyn Monroe Murders, Mysteries. Marilyn Monroe Mysteries uh, by Hudson Taylor, Gentleman for Murder. And I want to finish that because today uh, this came out. Book three in the Thursday Murder Club series by Richard Osman. I love the first two. I've actually lent the first one to my friend Julie. And uh, I can't wait to read this. I am so excited. So guess what I'm reading next? I think it might be this one. I love it. Just updating my journal with uh, Journal for Blair Murder, which I've just read. So you see Treasure Islands there. I don't know if you can see it because it's very blurry. And so on. I've only read six books this month, but that's okay. And I've just got to that's all do this. So if I can just get the pen. We have, here we are, 44 books to go until we reach 200. So I'm pretty sure I'll do it because we're only in September and we're only literally halfway through the month. So I'll do it. I'll, I'll have a good uh, read. I love this book. Next year, I've got the book already. It's exactly the same one as this. I'm going to change it slightly. I'm going to put my Goodreads challenge here because I'm going to go for 250 because I know I'm going to do it. So, or I might do 225. It depends where I, I finish this year. So it'll be three pages. Okay. Then we'll have my challenges for the year. And I think I've decided what I'm going to do next year. And then on this page, we'll have the. Um, the stats and then we'll have the TBR it just means that I can get it completely set up way in advance really 
of starting it um, without having to wait to copy out the TBR. Um, and then all that I'll do when I do get to it is I'll come to the beginning and I'll start from the top, whatever one I haven't read. As you can see, there's the ones I've read are lined out. And I just copy them down till I finish this page. I do have a series that I've been given and some Bristol books that my dad gave me, though they have to go back to him. Um, but I do have some oh, what's it, books, photography books I'll to put on as well. And then I'll be adding any of the ones I've bought this year that haven't read. So for instance, in January I've read all the ones we've got. In February there's one there. Because February I bought a lot and uh, there's one, two, three, four. Now I may not have four on here because two of them are, 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 are Christmas based books. So I'm going to read as many Christmas books as I've got. I'm going to read them all in, in, in um, uh, December. And then we've got a few here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least one of those is definitely going to be gone. Uh, I know that because that's going to be Peter May Cast Iron, which I'll be reading fairly shortly. Um, yeah, so when I start doing this, I'll obviously show you it once I've set it up. I'm not too worried about it. I've got the book. As you can see, here are some missing pages, uh, images. September I've only bought five books and I've read one and I'm start I'm just starting this one now The Bullet That Missed by Richard Osman. So my challenge next year is I will still be reading Stephen King every month I would imagine because I do like to read Stephen King and I'm trying to get the books many of the books as I can. So this year it's been Stephen King and classics. So I'm thinking next year I'm going to have um, movie related books so I can up my movie books. Doesn't, not necessarily biographies, it could be books about the studios or about people behind the scenes. And then the second one the challenge is going to be Agatha Christie. Because I would love to read some more Agatha Christie books. So yeah, whether they're paperbacks and I'll whack them all or not, I, I don't mind. But So yeah, that's the plan. So it's going to be Agatha Christie 12 and 22 challenge and um, Hollywood, classic Hollywood books, 12 and 20, 22, what, well, probably 12 and 23 now, 12 and 23 challenge. I'm also going to start a colouring journal so I can keep um, updated on all the stuff I'm trying to do, So because next year I'm going to be doing the 10 books to finish in 2023. But I love this journal. I've, I'm so glad I kept it. And I do need to get some more photo paper. As you can see, there's another missing one there. There's another one here somewhere. I thought I printed it, but I didn't. And I just love it. I've read some books this year. Uh, I'm so pleased that I, what I've read so far. And I can't wait to see what the rest of the year is going to bring. And I'm going to, before I go to sleep, I'm going to read a little bit of this book, Richard Osmond, The Bullet That Missed. I'll see you tomorrow. It's oh. Friday afternoon and we're in the pub. You were up, Bob. Jennifer's got some pencils and she's going to colour a triceratops. I dread to think what colour. You want the blue pen marker, do you? Hang on. There you are. So she's going to colour a blue triceratops. <laughs> very gentle. Are you going to do a rainbow one? Oh, lovely. Nice and gentle. And we know you've missed her. It is Jess. <laughs> she is back. <laughs> She'll be back home in what? A couple of weeks? It's on video, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh! <laughs> The weekly vlog! Hi! Have you been on it before? 17th of October. Woo! <laughs> it is the return of the hot tub. I've got to see the things you put about me on it. Oh no. Uh, Jess has popped off to see uh, another friend, which is fine. We'll probably see her on Sunday afternoon. Either at the cricket club or up here. Jennifer's painting. I've had, to, I'm on my fourth paint and I've got hiccups. I think that's probably enough and it's time to go home once I finish it. See what I mean? Anyway, that's enough. Oh, it is Saturday and I've just got back. There's something on the lens, hang on. That's better. From the hairdressers, as you can see. Oh, I'm tired. I've read this morning this book, the whole book, at the hairdressers while I was waiting for my colour to sink. Yeah, my highlights. Uh, Cast Iron by Peter May. Excellent. Uh, book six in the Enzo McLeod series. There's only one more. 
don't have that one. I'm going to order it at the end of the month. It wasn't in the box set. I think the box set came out before the seventh and final book came out, so I will be getting it at some point. I am now going to carry on reading Thursday Murder Club and do some colouring with Jen downstairs. Good morning. It is actually Sunday morning. I'm blurry again. And, um, oh, sorry. Uh, we'll be going to football soon. I've just put some washing on the line. It's a bit cloudy, but it's not supposed to rain. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh dear, I'm a bit tired. I'm all right. What's going on with this? It's not... There we go. That's better. Um, I have almost finished the bullet that missed. Well, not almost, but I've got not much left. I'm very much enjoying it. It's very, very good, good fun. And I got two books yesterday, and I'm not buying any more this month. That's it. So I'll. Uh, Unless they're ones that my mum and dad have picked up from the charity shop and they're given to me because mum's read them. And I'm going to, um... I'll show you them later. And then I'm going to, uh... get dressed because I've got to go get to... Uh, take Jennifer to football. Oh, please excuse me. I don't know why I'm so tired. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit.